I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. I like to call this exercise Siamese Force because we're going to force hands in pre-selected categories. Since we're playing two hands at one time, we're going to pre-select six categories. Force hands in only those categories. It's a great way to force yourself to play categories that you might not normally play. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I'm going to roll these dice to determine if we're player one or player two. Odd will be player one, even will be player two. I rolled a nine. The joker is a six. If you want to get these fun dice, look in the video description below for a link to Mahjong dice. It's a lot of fun, kind of novel. So nine, that means we're going to be player one. Player one will get 28 tiles. Look at all these dots. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Maybe we could play the consecutive run pair hand. Seven numbers in a sequence. All we need is a five dot and pair up. We do have news. News with dragons. It would be either north and south with dragons or east and west with dragons. I don't think we have enough though. I think I would want to have multiples in the dragons because they're all pairs. The next hand I think I might try besides the pair hand might be five, six, seven, eight, eight. Five tiles or wins. I think what I would do is discard those, play the pair hand, and say we're in between consecutive run, five, six, seven, eight, or winds and dragons, singles and pairs. We're forcing hands. We could do consecutive run with eight tiles. Winds and dragons, we only have five. So I think what I would do Keep the nine because it is in the range of five through nine. All right, I think I would play consecutive run and a pair hand. Use these as joker bait for the five through nine hand. If I had to pick a hand, I would maybe play five, six, seven with eights. We could do five, six, five, six, six, seven, six, seven. We could even do big odds, five, seven, seven, nine. Either way, we didn't use any of those. There is a five, seven, seven, nine hand with the opposite dragon, but we would need the white dragon, not the red and green. And of course here, we need to get the five dot and then pair up. I think that's what I would do here. So we have consecutive run and singles and pairs. If you would do something differently here, write force one 
and what you would do with these tiles. Did I say use this as joker bait? If you don't know what joker bait is, look for links below the video for videos on how joker bait works. Basically, it's a way to get jokers into your hand. If you discard one and someone puts out an exposure with a joker, you can use your second one later and exchange the joker. There are a lot of tiles here for consecutive runner 579. So even though I wouldn't pick a hand, there's a lot of fodder there. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next one and force these. So for this next one, I rolled a 10, so we're going to be player two. Okay, we don't have very many winds and dragons. North and south. Not a lot. Winds and dragons. Then we have maybe the year. We have 219. What about news with the year? Six tiles. It's not a lot. Three, six, nine. That's our only nine. And then we have like numbers. Like numbers. We have a flower and we have all the eights. Eight, eight, eight. Joker bait, joker bait. Eight, 10 discards with joker bait. This is really bleak. Year like numbers. But we have joker bait. I would hold the dragons because we could maybe play the like numbers with dragons. Since we're playing a year hand, I would keep the ones. For options. Just in case news doesn't come in, we could maybe play 2019-19, even though we don't have the right nines. But it could come. I think if you have discards, you can gather some of those discards for plan B. So I would hold them. Year hand, like numbers, with two options, joker bait, discards. Year, like numbers. If you would have played these differently, write it in the comment section below. Next, we're gonna do Winds and Dragons and 369. I rolled a seven, so we're going to be player one.
Okay, three, six, nine, and winds and dragons. I would play the dragon hand with flowers. Three flowers, Kong, Pung Kong. I would just gather and I would keep that south because we could do north and south with dragons if we draw north and pair up. Then down here, three, six, nine, three, six, nine. That's all we got. This would be Joker bait. Lots of Joker bait. Let's see here. All this would be Joker bait here. Pear, 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 uh, pung, all joker bait. Get rid of these first. Force the dragon hand. This would be the second from the bottom. And then here, probably three, six, six, nine, two suits. Three, six, six, nine, we got a gap. But if we make the right decisions, with this joker bait, we could get some jokers out of these. I would start by discarding here. Let me know what you think about all this joker bait. That's how you force hands though. Dragons, three, six, nine. Thankfully, we have one joker, and I would not commit it because we have a long way to go. Winds and Dragons in 369. That's really bleak, but it's fun to try. If you like to play in tournaments for Siamese Mahjong, get out your tiles and give this exercise a try. Let me know if you come home a winner. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Siamese Force for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.